The Tom and Jerry video that I made back in March of this year has touched a lot more hearts than I was expecting it would, with half of the video discussing the topic of suicide, while with the other half mentioning that true love and validation is found from within and not from the approval of other people. I think that's a very profound way of putting it, but over 2,000 comments calling Tom the Cat a simp sums up the message too, I guess. Simping is a topic that I've always wanted to dive a little more into, because I have a pretty interesting opinion on it that I don't think many people realize yet. For those of you who have no idea what simping means, it's basically another word for beta. The best way I can describe it is someone who is overly desperate for a relationship with a particular person person and will do everything in their power to please that person, but forgetting the importance of respecting themselves first. One of the greatest examples of this is by watching the actions of Mordecai from Regular Show. You know the Mordecai who everyone seems to remember as a simp now, which is pretty sad considering I can remember a couple of savage moments from this character off the top of my head. <laughs> so in this episode in particular, Mordecai has a crush on on this girl named Margaret, but he doesn't know how to expresso himself and ask her out on a date. He's extremely nervous, extremely shy, and has no confidence in himself, and his friend Rigby takes full advantage of this by cracking jokes at the situation, winning over the heart of Margaret in the process. Obviously, this causes Mordecai to go into full out jealous mode, and with every scene that goes by with him not having the guts to blurt out the words he wants to, and Rigby just being himself but clearly not taking the situation seriously, this frustrates Mordecai to insane levels. To prove his point, Rigby shows Mordecai just how easy it is to ask someone out on a date, and Margaret accepts Rigby's offer, shattering Mordecai's heart out in the process. His jealousy meter goes off the chart, and later on in the episode, he does everything possible to sabotage Rigby's date with Margaret. He also kills Rigby. No really, Rigby literally dies in this episode. RIP. Soon after, Mordecai meets God face to face, and as punishment for his sins, he is forced to spend eternity in Nowhere Land. Even though he has nothing to lose at this point, Mordecai still refuses to admit his jealousy for Rigby's alpha game, so God shows him the truth, and informs him that it's not healthy to bottle up your emotions. Or in other words, honesty is the best policy. God gives Mordecai one more chance to repent for his sins, so he finally admits his jealousy and is rewarded with a trip back in time to be better. By the end of the episode, he fails to ask Margaret out, yes, but he learns that it's really not that serious. So here's my take on the whole alpha versus simp, blue pill versus red pill thing, alright? There are a lot of relationship advice on this website. To their credit, it's probably all good advice at the end of the day, but I just want you to realize this point if you haven't already. If you are a guy, chances are you've watched videos about how to treat a woman, what to say on a date, what women like, what to say to get a girl's number, etc. And if you are a girl watching this video, the same principle applies. That's cool, you know? My question is, who the hell cares? Honestly, I don't believe in alphas, I don't believe in simps, I just believe in true self-love and self-respect. By worrying too much about not being a simp, you try too hard to be alpha, and by trying to be quote unquote red pill, you limit your options with the relationship that is right for you. Because not every woman is the same. Not every guy is the same. Contrary to popular belief, you don't have to fake your personality to achieve a genuine connection with someone. There are over 7 billion people on the planet. So why are some of us so worried about whether or not one of those 7 billion gives us the sense of validation that we can give ourselves anyway? If you do not love yourself 100%, and I mean 
all aspects of yourself, both physically and emotionally, then I would not recommend worrying about relationships with other people at all, because chances are it's just not going to work out. I want to say this too, listen, if you are in your teens or maybe in your 20s or so and you desperately want a true, authentic relationship with someone, I get it. We all get lonely at one point or another, but really understand me when I say it's not the end of the world if you don't yet have your dream boyfriend or girlfriend. Man, if I can go back four years in time when 17 year old me was worrying about when I'm gonna meet my first girlfriend, I would tell him, dude, don't worry about it. Just focus on yourself right now. I know with how Instagram couples and how all these couple channels are shoved in your face, it can be kinda hard to not worry about your future love life, but there are plenty of fish in the sea and you're going to run into somebody special someday. But until then, now is the perfect time to build yourself and to grow for yourself. Think about it, you have nothing to do, nothing to lose. Focus more on your purpose in life than on relationships with people who you know deep down aren't even your type. To put it simply, stop trying so hard to be alpha and start expressing yourself. Thanks for watching.